What is good, Foundation Nation? Uh, today, I am on vacation. I was originally planning to be back home shooting a video, but I extended the vacation. I'm at the Outer Banks, um, and all I have with me is the Innova Makani uh, Windsurfer. If you don't know what this is, it's basically just like a Frisbee. Um, I think it's technically like a fastback. I don't actually know, um, but going to play a course near here. Casey R. Logan, I believe, is the name of the, the park. Um, gonna head over there play a nine hole loop with just the windsurfer see if i can't shoot my goal is just par i think the front nine's all par threes they seem relatively short so hopefully i can catch, pick up a few birdies but um we'll see how it's flying today uh it's gonna be just me in this video my wife's gonna shoot for me um so hopefully the course isn't too crowded because not gonna lie to you with just a frisbee i might be a little uncomfortable just me a camera and the course um which uh, this is also going to be shot on my phone because since i'm on vacation i don't have my real camera with me but anyways guys i hope you enjoy and i'll see you on the course All right, hole two is a 250-foot par three, pretty much just straight down this tunnel. Um, really, like, love how this course looks, but we'll keep playing. Seems like it's going to be pretty easy. Should just uh, pump it straight down there and see if we can't get a look at a birdie. Not if you flip like that, you're not. Got a little gap. Still in my bathing suit, so hopefully I don't rip my pants, but... See, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try a little, uh, little Brody shot here. All right, hole three, 185 feet. Uh, it looks like it's straight ahead on an elevated basket. Um, there's someone I think on this hole, but he might be waiting, so I'm gonna see. Alright, hole four is a 300 foot par three. I wish I had my full bag, because it actually seems like a really fun course. Um, but, this thing's doing, doing decent. I can't exactly see this basket. Oh, no, I do. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can make this thing hold a hyzer. Oh, no. foot par three. I think they're all par three, so I'm gonna stop saying that right now. Uh, it looks like I want to hit this left gap, let it cruise to the right. It's gonna need some height to get over that last tree there. I'm really wishing I had my full bag. This course looks pretty sick, especially if I could play the long tees, but oh well. Gotta make with work with what you have. Make make uh work with what you got. Yeah, what she said. the last tree. All right, hole six is 221 feet, the way I'm gonna go. 247 if I go that way. Um, which that's kind of nice to have both ways on here, but it's right up basically in line with these trees on the other side here. Let's just try to flip this up, have it hide throughout near the basket. I need a birdie to make up for that bogey I had over there. That'll be a long look at it. All right, 227 foot par three, as I've always said, hole seven. This looks like it lines up more for a flip up forehand, but I'm not super comfortable throwing that with this thing. So 
so we're gonna try it but we'll see how it goes basically just kind of plays here and slowly goes to the left as it pushes forward I did this with some forward fade then it would work I need height no height a little patent pending throw in for you make this video a little more interesting maybe oh I thought I had it but easy three Oh, eight, 245 feet. Looks like it just kind of plays along this creek on the left here. I'm uh, gonna go out and come back in. Tough shot to make this do. I'm gonna try to get it nose up, let it stall and come back. But that's a long ways to have it stall. We'll see. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. That sucker slipped out and I thought it was going straight into this creek. Got to make this if I want a chance of being even on the round. Mosquitoes are pretty bad out here. Eaters, very eaters. Um, and also, if I run this too hard, this might go in the creek, and I might not even get to play whole nine. But we'll see. Oh no! Never even gave it a chance. Hole nine, final hole in the video, 350 feet. Uh, looks like a two shot hole, especially with this thing. Um, if I had my normal bag, I could probably cut something to the basket, but not happening today. So I'm definitely gonna shoot over par, but I'm gonna try to just play a turnover down this line. Try not to throw it too far straight into the creek back there and have a little upshot in the creek. Well, it looks like I am right in between both fairways. There's the straight one that I would have had at that shot, and there's a short one I would have had that shot. Instead, I have a tight tunnel for a really high ante, neither of which I'm comfortable with with this dip. What are you feeling, Liz? High or straight down the middle? Down the middle. Straight at it? Mm-hmm. Oh. We'll try it. I'm going to try to rip it down there because I don't think I can get it this far with no height issue. Oh, I pulled her. Great job. Should have went high. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was pretty crowded out there. I had a few good opportunities for birdie, but could it really convert um definitely it was a fun video i wish i had my full bag because that course was sick so if you're ever in the outer banks nags head area um definitely go check out kcr logan uh course it's from what you just said it's not per or it's not sorry not permanent it's not uh fully in yet it is permanent but the course was beautiful t signs were in it's really easy to navigate um I really enjoyed it. I really wish I had my full bag because I would have loved to play the long tees and play a full 18 there, but maybe next time I'm back in town, I can do that. But you know the drill. Links in the description below to our website, uh, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.